as you know, the cycle helmets of today have come a long, long way since the old leather three bars of yesteryear. But for the most part, helmets now are light, cool, aero, and stylish. Pro, in fact. Yeah, but have you ever thought about the way you wear your helmet? The do's, the don'ts, the how-to's. Well, whether you have or you haven't, like it or not, here is GCN's guide on how to wear a helmet like a pro. But if you want to look cool like a pro, you have to have all of these key determining factors in place. So make a careful note of the following. Sunglasses over or under straps? Well, it's a simple one, this one. No margin for error. You're either under or you're over. Or to put it bluntly, you're either wrong or you're right. Now, over the straps is the way to go. Just look at top pros for guidance. But even worse than going fully under the straps is a halfway house where one strap is over and the other is under. It's often the result of putting glasses on in an emergency situation. Don't go there. That just looks really pony. Vents aren't just to keep your head cool. Legend has it that the best helmet architects carefully consider the placement of said vents to support via slottage most top premium eyewear brands. Peak up. Our very own Simon Richardson is an exponent of this particular look and that's despite his constant pursuit of marginal aerodynamic efficiencies. Because let's face it, it flies in the face of any rational aerodynamic thinking. Is it just a matter of style over substance? But to be fair to Simon, there are quite a few other pro riders who have adopted this particular style. Sylvain Chavanel, Bradley Wiggins, and Philippe Gilbert have all adopted this particular quirky look. So perhaps there is something in it after all. But this is the look that I favour and that we kind of favour really. Firstly, it looks far more pro. Secondly, it's more aerodynamic. Thirdly, it's aesthetically superior. So there you have it, peak up or peak down. What do you think? Vanilla, this minimal, simplistic, clutter-free style of helmet worn in the optimal position. No shades, no caps, just your head and a helmet. The only message this style has to say is, I know how to wear a helmet. Tick these boxes and you're there. Clean, fitted, absence of frontal, rear or lateral slippage. Straps, neatly cut and sealed colour coordinated to the kit. Tip. Let's face it, no one wants a dirty helmet. They can get smelly, infested with bacteria and fungus, and if you get close enough, they look really unsightly. So don't be a dirt bag, keep your cycling helmet clean so you don't start to lose friends. So when should you go aero? Well, ultimately it is up to you, although perhaps the cafe isn't necessarily the most appropriate spot. If you're time trialing, it is absolutely essential. And an aero road helmet is a good idea if you're pursuing more speed on primarily flatter terrain. Definitely, but say for warmer, hillier rides, definitely go for the vented option. And this particular puppy gives you the best of both worlds. Now, we alluded earlier on to needing to look after your cycling helmet. And if you're interested in that, then we've got a video explaining just how you do it. You click up there, you get straight through to it. We've got another cool video about uh, choosing your helmet. It's uh, choosing a helmet like, is it like a pro or like Lloydy? It's like Lloydy, I think. Oh, choose your helmet. To, you know, to tell you though, it's still a good video. It, it is, just, just click down there. Helmet choice with Dan. And subscribe. Sorry, I just think I stole your thunder. You certainly did. I was about to sort of, you know, but it doesn't matter. Carry no, please, you, you no, go. That's all right, you do it. No, I'll it's too you. late now. To, come on. Don't you go to subscribe to GCN. It's absolutely free. Click on me, just me. Don't click on Simon. Click on no. me. He tried to nick that please. bit of the video. Please click, click here.
I reckon there'll be loads of subscribers now. What's not to like? Hold on, I just need to pump. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A pump? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a pump. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't help it. It was massive. I had a curry last night. 